hey hi uh, today we are going to see about uh, the boring cycle so i am going to explain the boring cycle and how to program manually program that uh, boring cycle in okuma 3 plus 2 milling machine so in so many people uh, doing the uh, software programming like in inx and uh, so many things master cam so they are doing it but even though they must be want to know about that uh, the manual programming if uh, if it in case uh, unproved post processor uh, may be having some mistakes so these are all the things we need to uh, understand what are the mistakes available in that uh, program so we need to correct all the things so first of all we need to know about that the manual programming so what are all the things important things we need to uh, see while we are we are operating the machine so after that uh, so what are all the things missing in that uh, post processor we can easily understood from the uh, wrong pro unproved uh, post processor so today we are going to see about the uh, boring cycle in okuma machine so it's in a code of g76 so i will explain that uh, in very clear way so first of all uh, this is a model program for the um boring cycle so it is generated by the nx uh, software it is generated by the nx12 software so it has some details in from block n1 to n8 so what are the things available in this n1 to n8 is if uh, command is if the tool number is 310 then the program will be continually run otherwise it is comes alarm so this is the first pokeyoke command so if the tool number is same so tool changing and this if VT, VTL CN number is equal then the uh, program will continue to the NN1 black. So the next one is operation name. So the operation name nothing but the program number. So most of the CNC machines having a four digit program number. So pref uh, prefix with that uh, operation that means so O that's an operation so the next one is uh, tool details so tool details means the what is the tool diameter outer diameter and it's a corner radius how much tapper of this tool so how much flute length so these are all the things in block number n3 so in n4 tool description so same as like that so diameter of the tool they will give so after that what kind of tool so if it in case that was an n mil so they will give an n mil if it in case that was a drilling tool they will give us a drilling tool so it's like that so the next one is n5 so hold the diameter and holder length it is uh, explain about uh, what are the what kind of holder we want to use so in uh, so many we can uh, classify with that uh, the holder bt and hsk holders in hsk having 63 so so many variants is there so um, in what kind of holder in hsk 63 if it in case that was a slim fit holder or hydro grip holder or uh, your call it holder so side lock holder what are the holders we want to use so that the details are given in block number n5 so after that n6 pot stock so after finishing this program so how much stock we will be uh, leave it for the next operation uh, doing this place so this is n6 so after that n7 so this program how much time it will take to cut the material so this is a machining time so after that uh, tool name so in tool name they are giving that what kind of tool we are using same as like that tool description so these are the basic blocks so it is generated by the nx software so if, if you are giving this uh, details the operators and uh, setters easily understood what are what is going to be we done we did or we do so all the things if it in case we are doing in a cyclic work and or regular production we just making more confusion with the more part numbers and more program numbers so in that time we can easily understood what we are going to do we we can easily uh, do the process very in simple manner that's why in, uh, we are giving a full detail of uh, everything so what is what kind of holder what kind of tool and what is the machining time what we are going to do so everything they will give in n1 to n8 so it just uh, given in a 
program only actually in the next software we just give that a camp sheet so camp sheet having a so what we are going to do and what are the tools going to be uh, do the operation and projection length and float length and corner radius and relief length and extension length so so many things they will give so this is will uh, help to easily uh, run the operation and uh, easily and um, e- equally uh, think about that uh, programmer so we can easily align with that the programmer so if it in case the programmer thinks in one way and the operator and setter thinks in another way the operation will be and the final product will become as a uh, wrong so that's a pro- biggest problem so as well as the even though they are well educated they are producing the part so it takes some more, other more times so industrial timings are uh, very very uh, costliest one so it's a very important thing also so that's why they are clear cut they are giving a full detailed description about that so the next one is n9 tool number 3 10 and amount 6 it's a tool changing command so after that n n1 so if the tool number uh, 3 10 is equal to the first one n1 and n9 so then after that uh, it is moved to that n1 line so after that g15 h12 in this line having a g15 um, it's an work offset selection command that's a g15 so h12 is a work offset number then g30 p4 so g30 p4 is nothing but home reference return so it's also one of the pocket okay? if the tool is in imaginary place somewhere else in that uh, machine so if you are if you are not giving that g30 b4 it is suddenly positioned to the uh before the approach point so in this case making a some collisions so some accidents if uh, another settings parallel settings in that uh, machine it will makes definitely makes the damages on the fixers and port so many things it will uh, damage the product also so in our costly manufacturing process making uh, collisions and accidents so man or machine related it will make some more and more costly and costly so that's why we are giving us some pocket case so next one is g56 and g90 so g90 is nothing but uh, absolute command g91 is a relative command and g90 is absolute command g56 is a tool uh, height offset in uh, z axis so that's a g56 actually it's in positive direction so in most of the okuma machine they are giving us a tool height offset in uh, z axis so after that i added this line but uh, it is not generated in that uh, next software g11 x0 y0 and uh, z0 it is an shift command if we are add this uh, command line in our uh, program it is very uh, compact to all the places if you are doing that uh, program for x0 y0 if you want to make the drill for the offset of a wcs uh, want to make it uh, 100 mm apart in x so you just move it in that uh, shift command datum shift command is very useful one so after that positioning so where we want to position so where we want to make a hole we need to position that so after that giving us speed rate how much speed your boring bar uh, wants to rotate all the things and which direction you want to rotate all the things you need to give hca da it's a tool height offset number so after that g01 z100 and uh, feed rate 8500 i am not right so in this uh, it's an approach movement of the uh, spindle so it's an feed rate is 8500 it's an feed rate so after that coolant on it's an side subsidiary coolant so not so through coolant it's an subsidiary coolant on command so next one is g71 m53 so it's an m53 it's an retractor or point g71 is a multiple holes option as well as z50 is a some safer point so next one is g76 it's an boring bore cycle it, i will clearly explain that in uh, next slide so g8 is as well as uh, the canada cycle cancel or the cycle cancel we can consider as that g10 is a datum shift cancel 
so m not 5 and m not 9 m not 5 is a spindle off and m not 9 is coolant off as well as that uh, home reference return pocket is g30 p4 and each and every program we should uh, add that optional stop so after completing this is the only one program running in this operation the whole operation then we can give that m30 so it's an work setup so what is the requirement and what are the details they are giving in uh, uh, what are the uh, what we need to do all the things they are giving in this drawing so in work setup they are giving x0 y0 in that uh, edge of the side surface so x0 y0 we can easily take it out that uh, probe or dial or tool so so many uh, offset taking method is there then the z0 it uh, it is a part of face so it is a wcs reference point so after that the center of the hole is uh, located in 50 mm apart from that wcs point in both x and y axis so it's a bore diameter is 47.2 mm and pre drilled hole is uh, 47 mm point on stock in that uh, radial surface for the boring bar so after that they are asking a roughness for that uh, bored surface is 3.2 in bore depth uh, it's a through hole so there is no uh, step or uh, counter bore or pocket or so many things is not available it's in through hole so after that it's a pot thickness is a 20 mm so they are asking a through hole so we just want to that uh, relief some relief amount in that pot butting phase so this is a detailed explanation about that uh, boring cycle uh, boring cycle so in g76 is a boring cycle code so where the boring uh, hole is located is x50 and y50 it is located at that uh, first quadrant so it's an positively comes so after that they are asking uh, through hole and pot thickness is 20 mm so we want to make uh, the excess movement of the cutting of the tool so that's why i'm giving a extra minus 0.5 mm so that's why z minus 20.5 is a depth we want to make a bore so after that r value so r value is nothing but retraction point there was a two points in this uh, tool motions in canned cycle so one is r point another one is i point so i point is always top of the 50 mm above uh, from the pot uh, top face so r point is uh, 1 to 5 mm in between that so next one is feed rate so what is a cutting feed rate we want to cut this uh, boring bar with with using this boring bar so we are making uh, so many trials with that uh, speed rate and feed rate for achieving that uh, close tolerance of this boring bar so why we want to use that uh, boring bar uh, for uh, enlarging the hole we can make that 10 mm interpolation or uh, any other uh, cutting interpolations we can use it but we are using uh, because uh, we need to exact dimension achieve the exact dimensions making a very close tolerance and so many things is needed so that's why we are using a boring bar in we if we are using end mills that will make a taper on that hole so if we are making a taper on this hole we can't able to fit the pot in correct manner so that's the biggest problem that's why we are using that uh, boring bars so after that q i and j so this is i will explain the next test line so after that m53 m53 is a return to r point and h is a tool height of set number so i am explain that uh, what is a q i j so it's a tool retraction direction first of all i and j case number 1 you can see that it is in first quarter and if you are seeing the tool from the top of the uh, spindle you can see that uh, the cutting tool tip direction toward that uh, first quadrant then you can give that both of the negative quadrant values as like i value is a minus 0.1 and j value is minus 0.1 so i is represent the shift amount in x direction and j represent the shift amount in y direction so if you if you are giving a minus then the movement will be in minus direction if you are giving a minus uh, i point 1 sorry i minus point 1 in then the direction of the tool direction will be a, a x minus direction so it it is a, a basic thing 
so the second case the same thing but the second quadrant so as well as so we need to move that uh, the tool in the positive direction in x and the y is a negative direction then after the tool tip is not touch on the uh, board surface so that's why we are giving a uh, i point 1 and j minus point 1 in case 3 uh, if the tool is both uh, intermediate between that uh, first and second quadrant we don't want to move in that x axis so i 0, 0.0 and if we, uh, we need to make a movement in the y axis in uh, minus direction so we are giving that j minus point 1 so this is a basic thing and uh, another one is q point 1 so it is clearly we can explain in here so first of all uh, tool positioning where we want to make the drill so after that it just come to the i level after that it comes to the r level after it is making that hole so after making the hole it is getting very little bit shift by the i and j value so after that it is go to the r level so after that it is moved to the original exact point boring point level so that's a q point one so after that it is going to the reference return so this is a very simple uh, way of understanding that uh, the boring tool path so where the tool is going to move and how it is moves so all the things it is very clearly in explained so thank you so much uh, i hope you all understand this uh, very simple explanation about the boring cycle so in the next video i will explain that uh, another uh, cycles uh, spot drilling and cycles of uh, face mill cycles so so many things i will explain in further videos thank you so much